Asaha Wooten. I'm Nick. And I'm Kayla. Today is Monday, March 12, 2018, and these are your morning announcements brought to you by the SGA and the TV Internship Program. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, with liberty and justice for all. The word of the day is euphony. Do you know what it means, Wooten? Did you know that today, way back in 1879, the British Zulu War started? I bet you didn't. Attention all students. SGA applications are now available on the Wooten website. Or you can pick one up from Miss Cresham in room 153 anytime. They are due on Friday, March 23rd. Do you want to be a class officer? If you're interested in running for a class officer position, the forms can be found on the Wooten website, and hard copies are also in Ms. Cresham's room, 153. Forms need to be turned in to Ms. Cresham no later than Monday, March 19th. Buy your senior ads now for the yearbook. Senior ads are due Monday, March 19th. Also, purchase your yearbook while you're at it. Go to our school website for information on how to buy a yearbook. And now for a Women's History Month current event brought to you by Lauren Schur and Christy Lamanaka. Good morning, Wooten. March is Women's History Month, so today we are celebrating some incredible women throughout history. Gloria Steinman is a social activist, writer, editor, and lecturer. She's known for her activism in the feminist movement. She began her career as a writer and has won many journalistic awards for her work. Along with other prominent feminists, she created the National Women's Political Caucus to advance the number of women elected and appointed in public office. She also helped create the Women's Action Alliance, an information center for non-sexist, multiracial children's education. In 1972, she co-founded Miss Magazine to cover women's issues such as domestic violence. She also is one of the founders of Take Our Daughters to Work Day. In 2013, President Obama awarded her for the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the highest civilian honor. Today, she continues to advocate as an author and lecturer. Shirin Abadi is a, an Iranian human rights lawyer. She studied law at the University of Tehran and later earned a doctoral degree in law. She was the first women judge in Iran and became the first female president of the Tehran City Court in 1979. After the Islamic Revolution in 1979, women were prohibited from becoming judges and she was demoted to a secretarial position. As a lawyer, Abadi took up controversial cases of un unpopular descendant figures and has been arrested multiple times. She founded the Association for Support of Children's Rights in 1995 and the Human Rights Deference Center in 2001. Abadi became the first Muslim woman to win the Nobel Peace Prize in 2003 for her work promoting human rights in the face of difficult conditions. Margaret Thatcher was the first woman to be elected Prime Minister of Britain. She was known for her tough, uncompromising conservative views. Thatcher climbed her way to the top of the Conservative Party. As, educated, as Education Minister, she earned the nickname Maggie Thatcher the Milk Snatcher for ending free school milk. More famously, she earned the nickname Iron Lady, originally as criticism, but she embraced it. The name became a positive, powerful label for her. In 1979, she was elected Prime Minister. During her time in public office, she cut social welfare programs, reduced trade union power, and pr um, privatized certain industries. Thatcher has a good relationship with President Ronald Reagan throughout their times in power. In 1991, Thatcher resigned due to unpopular policy and political struggles in her party. She was a controversial, strong leader. Women's History Month celebrates the achievements of the fierce women who have led the way for so many others to fight for what they believe in. And now back to your anchors. Dear Wooten Knights, it is time for our second annual Wooten Wanders to Washington event. We are going to wander about the National Art Gallery as our very own Jessica Coleman leads us through a wonderful expedition to the galleries. Madame Coleman will research four statues and eight paintings of French or Francophone artists. She makes this event fun and you can ask questions. This winter wanderlust is brought to you by the French Honor Society, but all Wooten Knights are warmly welcomed, including parents. The event takes place on Saturday, March 17th at 10 a.m. at the east entrance of the new National Art Gallery building. The closest metro station on the red line is Judiciary, and on the yellow it is Archives. The tour will run about an hour and a half. Don't forget to wear green. The gallery has a great gift shop and is the best place to find a gift for Mother's Day. And now for a musical enlightening with Stephen Heckler. 
Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Steven Hecker coming back at you with my one and hopefully only current event. Now, you may be thinking, man, this current event must be so important if the executive producer of the morning announcements is talking about it. And I say, yeah, it kind of is. So today I'll be talking about music in our school's month. No, this month is not dedicated to the questionable taste in music that Zach Cassidy has. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, music in our school's month is the annual celebration that promotes the benefit of musical education in schools nationwide. This month is used to engage students, music teachers, and communities to get more involved in the teaching of music. For a little bit of background, the National Association for Music, um, for music Education, or NAME for short, published an article st stating that in 1973, the Music in Our Schools project was adopted by the National Executive Board and the National Assembly of, <laughs> of State Presidents of the Music Educators National Conference. From there, many other organizations followed to support Music in Our Schools Month, such as the National Associations of Music Merchants, the American Federation of Teachers, the American Library Association, the American Choral Directors Association, the American Symphony Orchestra, the National School Boards Association, the National Education Association, the Music Industry Council, and the National Council of State Supervisors of Music. Woo! These associations help the teachers of music education to spread the word of this month, engaging students and communities nationwide. And that's all from me, Wooten. And also, congratulations to Dennis for getting number one in Fortnite. Goodbye. Hey there, Wooten. We here at the TV studio pride ourselves in bringing you the most energetic news. However, due to Wednesday's weather report, I received an anonymous complaint about someone, you know, somebody we don't know. Click. <coughs> uh, yep, I don't know. And I was told that you prefer prefer for me uh, not to scream the weather in your faces. So today I'm going to be very calm and very joyful. Today is going to be cloudy, even though you know I was promised rain or snow. Starting off the week with a disappointment. <laughs> Sounds right. Uh, you've got yourself a high of 42 and a low of 29. And the Tuesday is mostly sunny, you know. We've got a high of 45 and a low of 26. And then look, the precipitation is at 0%. The same chance I have of passing my quiz tomorrow. And then there's Wednesday, and that's going to be mostly cloudy with a high of 41 and a low of 25. <laughs> oh, man. Mostly cloudy. Blocking out the most sunshine for me in my life. That sounds very familiar. And then Thursday, and then most of the sun is starting to peek out more. Oh, great. Thanks. I could have used you more yesterday. Anyway, you know, high of 50, low 28, and oh, look, 20% precipitation. You can't even give me hope about sunshine without the chance of rain. And then Friday is 49. High, you know, then a low 30, mostly sunny. You could show a bit more sun, and then you, you think of the makeup for everything. I lost an hour of sleep yesterday. I had time. I lost time to do schoolwork. I procrastinated. I mean, you know, pushed back because of other work on Saturday. I, I, it doesn't make up, though. Daylight savings was a mistake. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that calm report. Bye. The quote of the day is, the great appear great because we are on our knees. Let us rise. James Larkin. And the word of the day is euphony, meaning a pleasant, pl a pleasing or sweet sound. Once again, congratulations to Dennis Child for getting first place in Fortnite last night. Please remember to walk wise and drive wise. Have, Have a, a marvelous, marvelous Chesterly, Chesterly Monday, Monday Wooten. Wooten.